This demo shows new capabilities of AFX7 to support drawing creation and especially at the end of the demo for automated creation of single part and assembly drawings. Here we see a small framework design with some beams and some plates. During the design of the framework it may happen that uh, different parts with different part names like this part and this part uh, which have different part names but have similar or exact the same shape. So in structural de steel design it is important to find out which parts have uh, identical shape and to give them the same item number in the bill of material later on. AFX7 has in the project, project parameters menu, functionality to create item number numbers for parts in the same way than it is usual in structural steel design. In this dialog box you can uh, specify item number counts for parts and assemblies as well as for standard parts. In this case the assembly only has parts so we start with the counter 1. Um, we also can add a prefix to this item number for example P for parts and if assemblies would be there we can in example enter A for assembly. Uh, and here we have the checkbox same counter for identical models. So I uncheck it first and uh, activate the item number calculation and now you see each Pro Engineer model gets its own item number. If we want AFX to detect identical models we check this mark, perform the calculation again and now we see that part I-beam 2 and I-beam 3 which have identical geometry get the same item number even if it is diff two different pro-engineer models. Now we switch uh, to uh, the drawing and we can see that we can list this item number which is created as a parameter in the part and in the component feature so we can list this item number in the bill of material and all parts or all lines which have same item number have parts with same geometry even if it is different pro engineer models what is very common in structural steel drawings is that you have a weldment or small frame like this and different part views on the same drawing. To support this AFX has in the drawing tools menu a menu button create component views which allows you to very easily and quickly place uh, views of different components on the drawing like this plate or this plate so you just click the component and the place where you have want the views. Um, it also works for beams like this one or maybe this big one. You can define in setup files which views to create for which type of beams and plates. Now we need to dimension these views. For this AFX drawing tools functionality have fun a function to automatically dimension part drawings or views, especially beams and plates. So you can choose an option whether you want to create chain dimensions or accumulative dimensions then you just click the part and then you see you get the part dimensioned in a way which is common for structural steel design which is usually dimension or create too much dimensions uh, but have have it everything dimension in any direction example here we see the holes dimension from the left and from the right so we just need to click the parts and then we 
get them dimensioned. Of course it may be required that we move some dimensions a little bit to make some uh, fine adjustments of the drawing. It also works for beams, you see it dimensions the holes even if it has a lot of holes. Now uh, we need to place item number notes in the drawings. If we would use uh, a standard ProEngineer functionality to place the, the index of the repeat region, there will be two problems. First is if uh, one line ha points or represents two different ProEngineer models, the bomb balloons are not created. Second problem is we cannot create them on single part views. To solve this problem, if X drawing tools has a functionality to create item number nodes, you can configure the node shape. In standard there is only one, which is the short, which just shows the AFX item number. So you click on the part and you get the item number. You also can have it in different views, yeah? like here this part is shown in this view and this view and you can have this item number in both views. You also can have it in the single part views, like this or this. If you place uh, the long item number node for example, you can figure it to show more information like the standard and the length of the beam. So it is very common to show once a complete description and on the other places of example of P4 just show the item number node. If X7 has two more helpful functionalities for creating lists, one is the stock length table this list gives you a report of different section types in the assembly and the overall needed lengths, which is very helpful information when ordering the raw material. Another new list is uh, the cut list. This list uh, represents or gives you very helpful information for cutting the beams. In this example it is not so helpful, but if it is a bigger design it will list for every section the number of raw material pieces and which parts with which item numbers to cut from the first and the second and the third piece to have minimum material loss. So there is a kind of optimization algorithm to find out the minimum material loss and which part to cut from which raw material piece. Of course, if we work more in the pro-engineer environment, it is very uh, common that each single part has a separate drawing. To create this, if X7 has in the drawing tools functionality in assembly mode, um, a button create component drawings. We can tell the system to create part drawings or if sub-assemblies are available also create sub-assembly drawings and dimension the part drawings. So we check this. Then AFX performs the creation of all these part drawings and dimensions them. So after some uh, seconds we see the results, so in a working directory or in session we have different styles of drawings. For example, this is a drawing of the I-beam. We see the different views. We see the views dimensioned with the different holes. And the same applies for plates. In example, this plate here you see the two views, you see the holes dimension, the outline and the chamfers and so on. So these parts in this style are created automatically and you just uh, need to review them and maybe in some cases move dimensions a little bit. So this was a functionality which allows you to speed up drawing creation for structural steel drawings.